Welcome back to DMC Sports. Today is a epic mail showcase. Uh, I had a lovely assistant come over and open my mail for me, so I didn't have to do it while I'm on camera. And she put them in the order. She thought that I would like to see them. So let's check out and see what's going on here. Oh, let's see here. Well, I picked up some of these opening day cards because I'm not going to buy any of that product. I don't even like the way the cards look, but I like the players, and I don't care if it's opening day. I got their, their, their cards. I got a Rookie Cup card of Alvarez, so that's pretty cool. So this is just a nice, quick, cheap pickup real quick. And, of course, I didn't have or get any of the uh, Merrifield Turkey Reds. I got a couple coming. Those are cool. And um, I don't like Phil Sims. What is going on here? This, oh, this must have been like a sandwich card. They give you extra cards to put in to protect the ones that you actually want since this is like probably like a 91 score, 90 score, something super cheap. So whatever. Don't like that guy. Ooh, I like this guy. Mirafield, 1971 redesign? I can't remember all of a sudden. Yeah. Um... Broke George Brett's record for the longest hitting streak of the Royals. 30 games. That's pretty good. Oh. You see, he flew. So, you know, I'm looking to pick this guy up. This card's pretty sweet. Let's see here. Oh, the Trevor Bauer. <laughs> Look what she did. She put it in one on by himself. There's obviously more in there. I got, I got more uh, Gypsy Queen cards. I just wanted to pick up. They're not errors or anything, but... I just like Trevor Bauer. I like the way the, the uniform. It's an old timey look. So that's pretty sweet. And then, oh, the Jose Canseco in the White Sox outfit. Uh, I got the uh, puce yellow color earlier. So, the, the, oh, there's the other uh, turkey, turkey red that I bought. Uh, some painter's tape on there. Oh. So, oh, look at that. There's Merrifield again. Um, you can not you, you can tell by the number, not by the face. Let's see, there's two. Yeah. <laughs> He's missing the, his eyes and his cap on both of them. That's pretty funny. This is painter's tape. That's pretty cool. I appreciate that. Oh, here, here it is. Here's the other, uh, just the Baez. I don't know. It's just, I just bought it. It's just something. And um, this is the 1975 SSPC George Brett card 167. <laughs> yeah, they stopped thinking of George as Ken Brett's brother in 1975 because he batted 308. He wasn't messing around. Triples, doubles, homers. No, yeah, that was not a huge, but I mean, he was a young guy still. 89 runs and stealing 13 bases. Boy, he hit uh, the scene pretty hard, especially for 1975. This card's in good shape. Goes for about $10. Cha-ching. So... I'm really glad to have it and add it to my, my vast wiki collection of George Brett, which is, it's not that bad, but it's pretty cool. All right, let's move on to the rest of the mail. We'll get these out of the way. Let's see what else I got in. Uh, let's see here. Look at that, 85 throwback. George Brett. <laughs> that little, uh, look at that cool stampage. And it's got all of his stats on the back. Sweet. What else? I ordered me a Javi Baez. Red turkey. Look how yellow that card looks. Looks like it's like yellow here, yellow there. It's just yellow everywhere. It's actually one of the better looking cards. It looks a little older. So I wish they would have changed his uh, uniform up too. But they didn't. Now, these are awesome. These are the traded. Brett Saberhagen rookies. I've got a ton of, ton of the 85s. And I've never owned these cards, ever. This one's a little faded. <sighs> That's okay. Uh, I just wanted to own them. They're one of the, I love this guy. He was the hero of the 85 season in the World Series. So, yep, RC250, they say. But I'm super happy to add these to my collection. All right, let's see what else I got. Let's continue with the rest of the mail day. Some of these, check this out. <laughs> I've got some football cards. I like getting football cards of guys who I think were really good players, uh, especially back from the 90s, because I played them on video games or I played them in uh, 
Fantasy Football is a rookie card, Joey Galloway. Roger Craig, a lot of people know that my favorite number is 33, and this is yet another reason why. Uh, those really good uh, 49ers teams, there's always a guy named Craig in the backfield whooping it up, so that was kind of cool. Chris Carter finally made the Hall of Fame. John Randall, undrafted super stud. Very, very intense individual. Really liked to enjoy. Really liked to enjoy. I really liked his uh, his play So and watched him play. Pat McAfee, tell you the truth, I didn't really know a whole lot. I mean, I remember the name, but now that he's got his YouTube channel, I've seen some of his comedy. I'm a big fan of his, so I'm going to send this off, see if he'll sign it for me. I'm a big fan of his channel. It's pretty good. Terrell Suggs, obviously I like him. Now let's go to some, let's see here. Oh, vintage. My Mike Smith collector. Had to pick me up some beautiful examples of these base cards from back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> helmet. That's so funny, his hair sticking out of that helmet. That's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Ooh, Pete Rose. Yeah, look at that. It's 72 right there. These cards in pretty nice condition. This one's uh, a little messed up. I wonder if that comes off. Nope. So, uh, I love the Eck. Uh, this is one of the, the least desirable cards of his. It's just, it's a horrible looking card, I think. Um, I don't, think, I don't know, I just hate it. But it is his Rook, so I picked it up, finally. I've been, well, you know, gonna pick it up. So, I got a cool story for you guys. Look at all these cool cards. Alright, so, I ordered, uh, let's see, what did I get? What did I order? That's not part of it. I ordered, um, let's see here, Adley Rushman, and I wanted a couple of Heston, Keston, or, uh, rookies, I was like, sweet, there's a trout in here somewhere too that I, I ordered, where was it, yeah, that's part of it, and there we go, okay, so I ordered the trout, and then I ordered a uh, an Alonzo Christmas rookie, and, uh, and everything seemed fine on eBay. Everything was going perfectly. And then yesterday, right before I received all this, uh, I got a five ninety nine refund from the guy. I was like, hmm. So I didn't worry about it. It's Then I looked at the description. I finally saw that it said he couldn't find the Pete Alonzo rookie. So I was actually a little annoyed. I was like, the guy couldn't send me an email. I couldn't say anything. Maybe it's on in, in eBay. So I did find it. Again, where it just says he, he just... Did because of the Alonzo Christmas, he got three. I got the refund, so still no information. Well, sure enough, what the guy did is he actually sent a letter, a real, a real written out letter. Um, I'll put, uh, I'm gonna put up his uh, eBay just, just so you can see it. I think there's a reason why this guy has a hundred percent still because he said he couldn't find it, he was sorry, uh, he couldn't find my Alonzo, so he put in some other cards just to make up for it. And I was like, huh, I wonder what he put in there. So he puts in two more Alonzo rookies. And then this Flattery Bader card, which I love, because I love both of these players. So I was like jacked. And then at the end, he says, oh, and by the way, I threw in the Guerrero Jr. I was actually going to buy this from him, uh, $5.99. Uh, I was like, wow. So this guy did me up well. Uh, I would have preferred that he sent me an email you know, as soon as possible, but he decided to do it this way, and it uh, it worked. It doesn't make me happy. Uh, I'm totally, totally jacked to get, you know, basically three good cards for the one I didn't actually get, so uh, I'm totally okay with that, so that was a very good job on his part. This was used as a spacer. Someone sent me a couple extra cards. They all sucked except for this one. I've never actually seen this. So I kind of like it because he's all funny looking and he's got his hat on sideways. He's having a good time before uh, a game. Uh, and then I got a bunch of cards from the card hobbyist. I got on his channel and did some uh, auction picking up. So I got some mail from him. Just cards I claimed. I just wanted another artist proof for some reason. I have no idea. Drinking's bad. Uh, I don't even know if I had this Jose, but I pulled it anyway. Uh, I like to get all of these 83 tops. So I grabbed it. 
Okay, where did I get these from? I think these are just regular pickups now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have this one as a throwback from, I can't remember what year. I'm sorry, folks. This is uh, the Con 50, I don't know, I can't remember. It's the Gold Edition Merrifield. It's the Purple Refractor Merrifield. And then I've got two big pickups here. Yeah, that's right. Albert Pujols rookie not super expensive but not super cheap one of the more expensive cards i bought in a long time uh, so i've got this hall of famers rook i'm pretty excited to finally pick that up and of course as you can see i finally picked up the robin yount it's pretty pretty roached on the bottom and the eye appeal of the card is not too bad it's not awesome but that means I'm only looking for one more card of the 75 that are hard to get. I've got a couple of the Bretts. I need the McGuire. I need the uh, Nolan Ryan. So hopefully those will be coming soon so I can start doing my uh, Only the Stars set maybe. I mean, I'll just, you know, get as many of the 75 tops as I can. I love those cards a lot. I think those are really neat. So uh, I, that's what I got for right now, folks. I appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end of the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I really appreciate it. You guys have a great one.